Hello everyone, let's look at the different ways to access the UEFI experience from Windows 11. Although many people still refer to it as BIOS on newer devices running Windows 11, you're actually accessing the UEFI, which replaces the legacy BIOS with a newer firmware type that addresses the limitations and the legacy BIOS type. On Windows 11, you can access the BIOS in at least four different ways including from the desktop using the settings app. You can also use the restart shortcut and the start menu. You can also use command prompt and you can also access the firmware on your computer from startup. Method one, entering the BIOS from the desktop on Windows 11. First, open the settings app from the start menu. Then we need to go to the recovery page. From here, we're going to click the restart now button for the advanced startup setting and click the restart now button. Now click on troubleshoot, advanced options and from here just click on UEFI framework settings and then click the restart button. And that's it. Now pretty much every computer has a different framework so make sure to check your manufacturer support website or the motherboard manual to know more about the options that you can actually customize through the UEFI experience. Method 2. Accessing the BIOS using the Restart shortcut on Windows 11. Now, an alternative option when you have access to the desktop is to use the Start menu to restart in the Advanced Startup settings to access the BIOS. And to do that, just open the Start menu, then click on the Power button. Now, in here, before clicking the Restart button, press and hold the Shift key and then click on the Restart option. Now, similar to using the Settings app, about restart, you're going to enter the Windows Recovery Environment and from here we're going to click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options and then you'll have access to the UEFI Framework Settings options and then click the Restart button. And that's it. Method 3. Accessing the BIOS using Command Prompt. If you want to use Command Prompt, you have two different options. First, let's open Command Prompt and to do that I'm just going to use a terminal. On the top result, I'm going to right click and select the Run Center option. Here I'm going to clear the screen. And then you can use the shutdown command with these options. R for restart, the FW, that will tell the command to boot directly into the system BIOS. T is for time. So when you run this command, the computer will restart immediately because we set the time to zero. And that's it. Using that command, the computer boot directly into the system BIOS. Now, the second command that we can use is the same shutdown command, but then we're going to use these options. And basically, with this command, we're going to restart the computer into the Windows Recovery Environment, and then we're just going to follow the same step that we use using the Settings app to access the UEFI interface on your computer. And from here, we're just going to click Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, UEFI Framework Settings, and then the Restart button. And there you go. Again, I'm using a virtual machine, so when you use these steps, you're going to boot into the actual BIOS of your computer. Method 4. Accessing the BIOS from boot. If you don't have access to the desktop, you will have to enter the boot options while the computer is booting up. However, this requires hitting a specific key or a key combo to trigger the access to the BIOS interface. Usually, the screen will display the splash with the key or keys that you can use to enter the firmware, as you can see right here, but that's not always the case. Typically, you can use one of the functions key, such as F1, F2, F8, F10, and even the escape key or the lead key, as you can see right here on the screen. Usually, you have to hit that specific key repeatedly immediately as the computer starts, but before the Windows logo appears on the screen. If you don't see the option on the screen to access the firmware, it is likely because fast startup is enabled on Windows 11. And of course, if you're trying to access the BIOS this way, it is likely because the operating system is not working, so you cannot disable fast startup. The easiest way to find the keys that you can use is by checking your hardware manufacturer support website or motherboard manual. However, here's a small list of some of the brands and the keys that allow you to enter the UEFI on the computer. Once you know the key that you need to use, just press the power button on the computer and start hitting that key repeatedly and the computer should start 
right into the UEFI framework of your computer. And that's it. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that Bluetooth usually doesn't load during the startup process. So if you have a keyboard and mouse connected using via Bluetooth, this might not work. So you might be hitting the right key, but the computer is, it is not detecting it because the keyboard is not connected. So if you know the key and the computer is not booting into the BIOS, then you have to use a wired keyboard or you need to connect that Bluetooth keyboard using a USB cable. Now, if you have other type of peripherals that use a specific USB receiver, so that receiver might work during startup as long as no Bluetooth. Usually, if you have, for example, a Logitech receiver with a Logitech keyboard or mouse, you will be able to access the BIOS using a wireless connection. And that's it. Those were four different ways that you can use to access your computer BIOS. Now, remember to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.